Right, today we're gonna look at something I call the mix and mush. The mush and mix the rubber da 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 da. Alright, I'm gonna cut that out. Um, today we're gonna. <laughs> today we're gonna look at something that is. that I call the, the mush and mix. Sorry. I, I don't even know, but I love it honestly. And. It's basically um, when you make art and you, you want to develop your style or you know, like go further. And despite everybody saying, and, and this is uh, this is a valid point, even though everybody's saying that, I, th I think it's a valid point um, that you shouldn't worry about your art style. It will just naturally develop over time. It needs a lot of time. It's a lot of practice. But as well. Uh, on the other hand, I think you can, you know, influence it a little bit. And I use something that is called mix and mush or mu mu I'm, I'm saying it again. Jesus, Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, what we're going to do, or what I like to do is very consciously think about things I like. I like in my, in my artworks. Like really nitpicky, you know, pick pick out the things that I like. For example, I I don't know if you've been following me for long enough, but the point is I draw these these patterns for shirts usually. And I I am massively in love with them at the moment. And I've been in love with using Musu Black in combination with watercolor as well. And I've been in love with parallel hatching. So I'm combining all of these things in, in two different paintings. So I know I'm, I'm in love with patterns currently. And I'm in love with, with this dark black in combination with watercolor. So what I do is I just really consciously think about it and I write it down. So I make, it, make, make a list. And in this list, I noticed as well, while I was brainstorming, not necessarily brainstorming, but writing things down that I know I love. I was as well writing down. Hold up, I need a sip. I need a sip. <sighs> All right. I was as well writing down skin tones because I'm no big fan of normal skin colors. I, I bring them in a little bit, you know, just to make it look at least like skin. But I'm no big fan of using a lot of browns with my skin tones, at least for the moment, that is. So I know I, I want to push these paintings into that direction. We're, we're going to go over two. I'm going to go over two paintings here. And you see me, I, I've included this as parallel hatching in the hair because on one hand, I love the hair to be black, but on the other hand, I love them to be hatched. So, why not try both, right? Why not just, you know, people always say you can't have both. Well, you know, I guess you can. You can have both. All the fucking time. Excuse me. All the time. Yeah, then I, I, I thought about bringing that pattern into the hair as well. And Having it weave across the face and filling that that, that pattern in, in the colors, even though it's across the face. Um, but before we're gonna look at the, the end results, which we're gonna look at at the end, like side by side, we're gonna look at here the painting. And as you can see, I'm, I'm sticking to my plan, exploring parallel hatching, exploring patterns. In this one, I drew another pattern on top, and I think with I think with this one, I'm even going further and exploring something I really like. You know those I'm gonna call them children illustration type style, like naive kind of drawings of like clouds with the you know the way the way kids draw clouds and with the rain falling. I've been wanting to do that because from the parallel hatching, I've been I've been liking 
Thick lines, you know? Normal, normal lines. I'm liking that. So in this one, I'm exploring more the patterns that I like. And actually, this was a bunch of pain, especially since last year. I have decided to focus on processes and explore especially processes. And if I like it, and if if I don't like the process, even though I like the result, I'm not going to do it anymore. This is not my path. I'm looking for my path and my path only. Maybe you like that process of something particular but that I don't like. And I, I think I think that's a very reasonable approach that I should have probably implemented way earlier in my practice. But do it. Do it young. Like you're still fresh. So back back to the painting. This especially drawing all these these flowers. I think they represent flowers. And painting around them with the black has it wasn't fun, okay? And I like my art to be fun while I do it. And then again, I'm going in with the skin color, going very bluish here as the underpainting, and then figuring out the shading, figuring basically everything out that I need to know, all the information I need to lay in, lay in the color. And from there, I just lay in the color, I think if you do an underpainting, or at least that it has it has been for me like that. If I do an underpainting, most of the heavy lifting is done. It is still a lot of work, but I don't know. I I I feel like if I get the underpainting right and I like it, uh, from there it's you know it it can be smooth sailing. And of course there can be issues, but. I'm very happy when I get the underpainting done. The underpainting done. So from there I just work work in the colors and eventually work on the pattern to fill the rest of the space. Okay, now to look at both of them. Ah actually. Hold up. Hold up. Actually, we're gonna have to like do some finishes finishing touches to them. Now just finish them up and then to look at both of them side by side wait hold up give me a second while i scramble for them where are they here they are okay i think on in the second one you can see there's a lot of patterns going on there's a lot of black as well, a lot of like breaking of the black. I've been as well thinking of breaking that normal hair type of form of the black. And I think uh, the, the face is working pretty well with the hair, or the, the hair is working very well with the cutout shape of the black. It almost, I don't know, it reminds me of a tree for some reason. Kind of looks tree-ish. The cut patterns, I think they, they work fine. It's not that I don't like it, but I know I didn't like the process. I absolutely hated painting around those, um, those, those flowers, those abstract flowers. And I, I don't think I will ever do that again then coming from the left those those lines so there, there are a lot more patterns in that and I think that's something you can choose co very consciously to to try and experiment um, not just by chance and hoping you find something but on the left side which is the first one I did include one of those ideas that I've had for a while which was instead of having those those lines just with ink in the uh, from the from the textile that I would use a white marker and I know I'll, I'll continue using this because I've painted these 
a little bit ago. I'm just now getting to record it. But yeah, I like that. So, you know, I, I take it. I like it. Take it and I put it in my little box because I know I like it. And I didn't mind the process. It was still fun. So therefore it goes into my little box. All right, I think that was enough rambling, enough yapping. Go mix a mush, go mush and mix, go take all the things you like and put them into one. Have fun. <laughs>